nigga. Help me. Hey, what the fuck is you illin' about? You ain't never seen nobody with a long dick? Hey, Dad, don't, don't say that. You gonna learn today. You gonna learn what a long dick look like today. Say something else to me. Who the fuck you think you talking to? I play Charles. Charles is basically uh, the only black agent at UTA. Um, Charles somewhat has a chip on his shoulder and is a little angry. Not about his position in life, just because he feels like uh, his respect level in his company isn't where it should be. But at the end of the day, he's still an agent. He's seen Chris do ups and downs, and he's advised Chris to do certain things in his career. Does Chris always take his advice? No. Uh, to be honest with you, Chris is probably one against it 85% uh, of the time. And he's an agent that needs to prove his point. When he feels that something was wrong, he's going to let you know it was wrong. And he's going to go out of his way to tell you why it was wrong. I've known Chris for, yeah, 2002. That's probably when I first met him in New York around a comedy cellar uh, by just being a young comic, uh, you know, kind of staying focused, trying to do what I could do to get to where I am now. But he's always been a positive influence in my life and in my career by just constantly giving me great advice and, uh, you know, making sure I was doing the right things. When you have friends and you got good relationships, it's real easy to pick up a phone and, you know, get favors. Uh, Chris said, hey, Kev, I got a movie. I got a real funny part. I think you'll be funny for it. Can you do it for me? I said, uh, yes. Not even a question. I'll make it work. Um, I wouldn't second guess or question him at all. Like, it's Chris Rock and he's a friend first. So whatever he needs, I'm always going to be there for him. When you talk about the names like Cedric and Tracy and JB who are involved in this film, these are guys who have been a part of the craft of comedy for years. So, you know, it's always refreshing to come across and see these guys and know that they're still about it, they still have a love for it. And when we can all come together as one and be a part of one single project, it makes that project that much more special and that much more better. Let me explain something. This is a shorter shopping season, but we're going to own it. I know my kids wouldn't like it if I came up short. Okay. I you know what? Don't kill my vibe, okay? I'm bigger than that. Not technically, but let's go! <laughs> yes! Where? Yeah. This year, the season is shorter, so don't wait. Get the Doc McStuffins Magic Talk and Doc and Friends doll and Crayola Marker Maker at Walmart and save. This is called the Fart Trap. Yeah. What the fuck Damn. is that? Instagram got videos now. The hell am I supposed to do? This is amazing. Is this a way? And it's 15 seconds. I don't even know what to do with all this time. I'm just talking about a bunch of stupid stuff right now, but I'm excited. Bye bye, Vine. Bye. Come on. Huh? Come on. Uh, I ain't see you down there. So you just gonna act like. Okay. So you ain't see? Okay. Okay.